Hi everybody, this is me again, Norhan from the FIE engineer team in Altium. And today I'm with you to talk about PCB component shape improvement in AD20 and the importance of this feature. So come with me and let's see how does it work. So I'm back and let me give you a closer picture of the real issue here. Can you take a look to this picture? I mean, is there here a horse with two heads? Is it possible? Here, is it a dog driving a car? It can be a dog well trained, but not that much. And here especially, a truck carrying a ship. This would be illogical. In the same approach, the bounding boxes can invoke such a confusion for the PCB designer for certain special shaped components in terms of collision check and component selection. Actually, this was the problem caused by grid orthogonal bounding box. In earlier version of PCB editor, the bounding box of a component was defined by the smallest rectangle that enclosed all the component primitive. And this bounding box was used for selection and component collision checking, which made it difficult to select and collision check, especially for non-rectangular components. But now this will be enhanced and you can just forget about this issue in AD20 and you can not have any similar issue resulting from false detection of collision and selection of smaller components when, when they are especially close to uh, unusually shaped large or rotated components. Now in AD20 we introduce an accurate component shape representation which is following the rotation of the component and which can include details from courtyard layer to create an accurate shape for component selection and collision detection. So here I am in AD19 and I have two circular capacitors with the regular bounding box shape which is rectangular one and here as you can see this is causing a collision fake problem which is like has no sense because the real body of the component does not overlap, only the bounding box are touching each other. So this is not good. And even if I want to rotate one of these components, I select this one for example and try to rotate it. And you can see here the bounding box is not following the rotation angle. So I mean it would be really good if we can improve this in an optimal way to follow the rotation angle and especially to follow the shape of the component. Let's see if, if AD20 will solve this issue. So here I have the same design in AD20 and what I can notice is that if for example, I will try to rotate one of these components Then the selection, the bounding box is following the rotation angle, which is really very good. I mean, it can solve the issue and it's very dy dynamic to follow the rotation angle. One thing which can be more interesting is that we can, from a couch yard, extract the exact bounding box relative to the component. How can we make that? It's simply when creating a component. So we just add a layer pair and we select the type to a couch yard. And then once we select that, this layer will be taken in consideration and the bounding box will be just created from this shape. So here I'm back to my design. Let's try to bring this new component, which is with a couch yard. I'm here bringing this component and try to make it really near and very close to the, this other capacitor and trying to rotate in any angle. And whatever I do, it's not making any fake collision detection. Why? Well, because the bounding box of this component is just created from the edge of the couch yard, which is really optimal for collision detection. Thank you very much and see you next video.